Hi guys, this is Atco. Today I'm going to talk to you about AM radios. But for now, these are the things everybody has in their pocket anytime. Uh, of course, they're great for getting your phone calls. But also, we get our music from that thing. You can get online, or you can uh, put MP3s on it. Have it in your pocket anytime you want. These have been something in your pocket probably for a good 20 years now. Prior to that, when somebody just needed to have in their pocket to have music, the Apple MP3 uh, iPod. I've had plenty of them and I probably still got about four or five. And, uh, you know, put that in your pocket. You can play your music with you anywhere you go. Portable music. But before the Apple came out, we used to listen to uh, cassettes for music. And for a portable, it was the Sony Walkman. Great machine. We loved that thing. This was very popular up through the 80s. And uh, again, with some good headphones, uh, put that in your pocket, and you got good sound music, and you could have any time you want music with you in your pocket. You've got that with you. Prior to that, in the 1970s, they had 8-tracks. I've had plenty of those. I had quite a few little portable for uh, eight tracks, but uh, you know, really don't need them anymore, and I've gotten rid of all of them. I should have kept at least one to keep in my game room, but they're all gone. But boy, back in those times, again, you couldn't keep it in your pocket, but you could put it in your, you could carry that with you with no problem anywhere, and it works off batteries. It would hold pretty good. But, move back. When you get to the 60s, it was the transistor radio. That was something that back in the prior to the 50s, all you could deal with, you could get a kind of small um, tube radio. It would uh, you could even get one with batteries, but with all those tubes to keep things working, uh, you might get two to four hours out of the batteries, and it costs a lot of money to put in four or five or six uh, batteries in that darn thing, and they weren't really used for portable. Might have a smaller one you can plug in. But it wasn't something you could take out with you somewhere. Then in the 50s, the transistor radios came out. Something in small, you could keep it in your pocket, and you could have your music anywhere you wanted. That came out in the early 50s. They're very, very expensive. Then they started bringing the price down to some. It was still expensive, but it was still getting cheaper. First one that I saw of my family, this uh, GE was for my sister. Got this for her birthday, and uh, it was the first transistor radio we had in the house. Um, but my sister got it. And of course, I wanted one, and my parents said, no way, we can't afford to give you a transistor radio. 
But fortunately, my sister would let me use it all the time. <laughs> so I use this a lot. But uh, these were great. My first transistor radio. Then I wanted to have something too. The prices kept going down. Couldn't get a small one that you could put in your pocket yet. But I got this in the in the early 1960s. And I got this on my birthday, probably, I don't know, 64, something like that. It uh, would work off batteries. Uh, you could carry it without a problem. It probably only weighs two pounds at the most, probably less. And uh, But you can't put it in your pocket yet. It's still too expensive to have something that small. But I got this, and I used to use this thing quite a lot. Then they started coming down really good. The uh, Hong Kong started coming out with cheap, really cheap ones. Sometimes you get it with just two transistors, maybe three transistors. They were getting cheaper. You could afford it, maybe in money standpoint of uh, $15 today. Of course, they didn't work very well. You couldn't pick up hardly anything with it. I can remember having a couple of those come by. They're just junk. They didn't sound good. They didn't pick up anything. But you could have something that kind of sounded good. I mean, something that was cheap. Then the prices kept coming by. I got a little side job. I was trying to make a few bucks. I was still in high school. And I had enough to buy my own transistor radio that I could put in my pocket. And this is the one I had. It's a Motorola 6 transistor. And this sounds pretty good. It's just AM radio, of course. And uh, man, I had that in my pocket all the time. What was great about that thing, I could watch all the, the games, listen to music, anywhere I could go. I love this darn thing. It doesn't work anymore. Um, I mean, you put it all, you turn it on, and you just barely hear something out of it. So, I don't know, either the transistor went out or a couple of caps. I wasn't going to try to fix it, but I like to have it. Then, uh, you know, they had FM radio as well. I think FM came out probably in the 1930s. Uh, the only people who would ever listen to any music with radios that had FM, it was uh, people that really needed a lot of uh, fidelity. And, uh, you know, music, what you'd see a lot of there would be like... Uh, classical music, things like that. No rock and roll. Not till the late 60s. They started having a few channels coming in with FM radio. And by the 70s, it was probably as many as FM radios as there was uh, AM radios. And then slowly up till today, uh, almost all radio was being done on FM. Of course, like the main thing, it, it sounded better. And you didn't get a lot of static that you would get out of the AM radio. They still make AM radio. Uh, can't get too many channels with music. Uh, it's mostly uh, talk channels now. They've been talking about uh, just closing the whole thing down and give the uh, frequencies out to something else but uh, so long it's uh, haven't been able to shut it down yet and um, I think it's still going to be around for quite a while unfortunately not going to be for music but still uh, a lot of people listen to the uh, the talk radios and so uh, been there for a while and you can still get a transistor radio 
I bought this, it's a Sony AM FM radio, and I bought this, uh, I think on Amazon, that's probably like 40 bucks. And for a transistor radio, um, it, it sounds really good, and it picks up channels very well. I know uh, Panasonic has one as well, and of course there's other brands that are coming out of China. Well, they're probably all coming out of China, but um, you can get them cheaper than that. You can get them 15 bucks. So they're still there for listen to music. If you just got to go out and work on something in the background and it's something you had to have something, uh, at least it's pretty good and a, a battery lasts for a long, long time. So it's great. Uh, but I enjoy it. I like old uh, AM, FM radio, uh, transistor radios. Uh, those were something that meant a lot to me you know, while I was growing up in the, mainly the 60s and the 70s. Okay, buddy, well, that's about all I had to talk about. Just thought I'd bring it up. So, uh, hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you later. This is Atco. Signing off.